Welcome to General Mathematics. This is your teacher, Jenny, your guide in learning. So join me today for another discussion, and this time we're, we will be discussing evaluating functions. But before that, let's try to learn our learning objectives for the day. At the end of this lesson, the students are expected to distinguish input from output variables, and then evaluate functions and find function values or outputs for numerical and variable inputs. So let's now move on to our topic of the day. Our topic is evaluating function. Now, when you say evaluating function, everyone, you are going to just replace your input variable with a value. May it be numerical, may it be with also a variable. So this time, let's have first our first example. We have evaluate the function f of x equal to 3x plus 2 when x is equal to negative 2. Now, in a function, we have here our function name. We've got letter f. Beside that one is your input variable. Now, you will really distinguish your input variable from the output variable because this will be together with the function name and it's enclosed with a parenthesis. So this time our input variable is the variable x. Now when you say output variable, also output variable is the holder of your output when you try to replace your input variable with a value. So our output variable here in this function is the entire f of x. Now, let's go for evaluating the function. When you say evaluating the function or evaluate the function, we just have to replace our x, which is the input variable, by the specified value, which is negative 2. So replace that there. So we have here f of x equal to 3x plus 2. This is our original function. If we are evaluating the function, we replace your input variable, which is x, by negative 2. So the easiest way for you to attack this one is to simply try to leave or represent your x variable by an empty parenthesis. So you are to do it like this. So we have F and then empty parenthesis. That will be equal to, you just have to copy everything. So we have equal to three. And then we have our X. We represent that with an empty parenthesis as well. And then we have plus and a two. No, next. We are going to simply replace those empty parentheses or you place inside empty parentheses the value in which we set for our x. We have here x is equal to negative 2. So we are going to write inside the parentheses negative 2 and also with the other side. So this time, we are now ready to simplify this further. So we have f of negative 2. This will be equal to, following the PEMDAS rule, we have parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So since we don't have parentheses and exponent, we go for multiplication. We have 3 times negative 2. That will be negative 6 plus 2. Now, negative, negative 6 plus 2, that will be equal to negative 4. So, f of negative 2 is equal to negative 4. So, that is how we evaluate our function. Let's go to the second example. Our second example is evaluate the function f of x equal to 3x when x is equal to negative 3a. This time, our input variable x is set to as negative 3a. There is a variable in there. It's not only a number, but it's with a variable. So please do not be confused on that one. That will be easily done when you follow the instruction given to you a while ago. So what is that? First, we have to write the original function f of x equal to 3x. 
And then we are going to represent our input variable, the x, there by a hollow parenthesis. So that will be f of parenthesis, hollow parenthesis, that will be equal to three times a hollow parenthesis. Now, next one, we are going to replace that hollow or to place inside that hollow parenthesis your negative 3a, which is the value for your x. So we simply put there negative 3a, and then we also have here negative 3a. Next, we go for simplifying. So we can do multiply the 3 and negative 3a. So we just have to multiply the numbers and then copy our variable. So we have 3 times negative 3, that's negative 9. And then we just copy our a. So our f of negative 3a, this is now equal to negative 9a. Next, we go for another example. Evaluate the function g of x equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 when our x is equal to negative 1. So again, we start with our original function so that we will not be confused later on when we try to replace our x with our parenthesis. So again, replacing our x with a hollow parenthesis. That will be equal to, we just copy whatever is there. We've got equal to 2 and then x with a parenthesis. And then we just copy the 2. So the original format must be in there. Do not change it. Only that we are just rewriting our x with a hollow parenthesis. Next one, we just have to put inside the parenthesis our value for the input variable. We have negative one. So putting that one inside, so we have there, and then we simplify, we have g of negative one, that will be equal to two. PEMDAS rule, we have to follow that one strictly. So we have, we don't have parenthesis, although we have parenthesis in there, but we just have to follow our exponent. So we have here two, and then we have negative 1 squared, that is 1, that's a positive. And then we have negative 3 times negative 1, that is positive 3. And then we have plus 1. So we go on for simplifying that still further. We have 2 times 1, that's 2, plus 3, plus 1. And then we add everything, that's 2 plus 3 plus 1, that is equal to 6. So our g of negative 1, this is equal to 6. Take note, our g of negative 1 is our output variable, or the g of x is our output variable. Next, we go for number four, evaluate the function h of x equal to x plus three over x minus one when x is equal to two. So again, we just have to replace our x with a hollow parenthesis. So h of x, let me just copy the original one so that I will be guided along the way in my computation or solution. So we have h of hollow parenthesis because we're trying to replace our x with a hollow parenthesis. So we have x with a hollow parenthesis here plus 3. So we just have to copy everything. And then x will be with a parenthesis and minus 1. And then we replace our, or not replace, but we write inside our parenthesis the value 2. So we have here h of 2. That will be equal to 2 plus 3 over 2 minus 1. So simplifying this one further, we have 2 plus 3. That's going to be 5. And 2 minus 1, that is 1. So our h of 2, that will be equal to 5. So h of 2 here is equal to 5. 
Next one, we have evil, evaluate the function f of x equal to 3 when x is equal to 2. Now, you might be wondering where is the variable x on the other side? This is an example of a constant function. Constant function because what you will be seeing on the other side is a constant. Meaning, it's not going to be changed because changing because that's constant. So, all you have to do is to, again, you are going to replace your x with a hollow parenthesis. So, f of, and then we have 3 in there. And then we replace our, or put inside our parenthesis, your value for x. x here is 2. So, that is the answer. So f of 2 is equal to 3. Because this is constant function, your value for your uh, output variable in there will not be changed. Okay? Now, I hope you learned something on this video. Now, take note, everyone, that the expert in anything was once a beginner. That is according to Helen Hayes. So please do not, do not hesitate on trying, although you might find it very difficult. But if you try and try and try, you'll get this one perfectly. Again, this is your teacher, Jenny, your guide in learning.